Now we're here with the Dart Zora equipment banner. Now this is really fun to me, guys. Before this video starts, please hit that like button and subscribe. But we're back on Grand Summoners and Dart Zorg is here. And it really surprised me when I was looking at the equip banner that what his equipment is. And we're just gonna be going over all the equipment that's on this banner because I really, I really do like it. I really do like the equipment that's on here. And uh should you summon on here, we're gonna get into that in the end of this video. Now, if you so. didn't see uh Zorg was fighting Wilkes right there, and OP tweeted out, uh, yo, the Zorg can fight Wilkes? What? I think he made a video about it. I haven't watched it, but, uh, yeah, that's just, it, 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 it surprised me too. I'm not gonna lie. So, starting off with this banner right here, this is the Great Awakening right here. Of course, as you guys know, this is his true weapon right here. We're gonna start off with this, a magic five star equipment it has uh, a true uh excuse me i'm reading the name sorry sorry the attack is 500 and the break is 1000 uh you have the life steal when near death level three heals own hp by three percent of damage oh my god to enemy when near death use users of the dark sword when equipped the hero of darkness sword damage and hp up max 20 percent paralyzed and freeze resistance 50 percent up only once though you have 8.8k dark damage magic if the own HP is over 75% increases art gauge by 30 increases art damage by 50% for 8 seconds with a CT of 45 seconds. Now, before this video starts, we talked about uh, in a couple videos back, oh, well not a couple videos, it's been a while since I talked about this, um, probably a couple months back when I was did a equip video, uh, it was over CT. And what the cooldown time is exact is for each equipped or or set number um because ct apparently is not the actual set number cooldown and you know i'm not gonna go in full detail with it um but i will make a video about it if y'all want to know about it um so yeah but overall on his equip he has 8.8k damage then the abilities with healing your own hp by three percent uh, of the damage uh, when enemy is near death, uh, resistance from paralyzing and freezing. I like that a lot. Uh, the CT is not that bad. Has 45 seconds. It's, it's 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 not that bad. I really don't like equipment with high CTs or high uh, cooldowns. I I really don't mess with that. I I don't like it a lot unless it has to, uh, like some great abilities to it. I really don't like it. Now we're going to Malia's true weapon right here, attack 500, a break of 1.2k, 13k dark damage magic, blue eye fox, blue eye black fox, excuse me, damage 20% up when enemy is blind only once, a bewitching smile when equipped by Malia, dark damage 20% up and HP auto recovery to allies by 10 only once. I like this because it gives the HP auto recovery to the allies 10, um, I really like that, that's what, that's what makes me makes me happy this also is a magic five star equipped too uh so if you need that you could probably run this on you can run this you can run this on ash horny uh malia of course uh probably some other units that uh have dark in them or uh i'm trying to think of some other units that have uh dark magic uh magic equipped but i can't i can't think of them right now i'm i'm, I'm it's the morning i'm i have a brain fart okay now going into uh now going to jill's true Equip now. I've been trying to get this equipped for a long time and a long time. All right, her. Uh, oh my god, I hate this thing. Attack 500 to break at 1.7k. Uh, fast neutrality. Uh, when equipped by Jill, damage to 20% up and auto fills are gauged by two for 90 seconds only once. <sighs> Don't get mad. Uh, flames of revolution. All allies damage percent up 10% up. Excuse me for 30 seconds after a quest started only once. 8.5k earth damage physical it reduces enemies earth resistance by 50 percent for eight seconds with a ct of 50 50 excuse me seconds now what i want to talk about why this equipped is so great for this is so great for her it gives the art gauge i you know what the heck are you know i like um to have art gauge for my units that's one of the main things i don't want to be too selfish Cause uh, when I first started playing Grand Summoners, I, my equip was a lot of selfish, selfish equips, and uh, I really didn't like that. Uh, um, giving out our gauge, giving out HP to other units by using equip is actually helps a lot. Um, just so if you don't have the arts from a healer or support character, 
you can use uh, flower or you can use um, other equip that gives all HP you can use art unite that gets all um, art gauge it's just you can use magic steel mask you can give that to other units too not just your own set unit you can give that to other units and excuse me oh my god uh, overall I just think uh, just giving out art gauge is great now this is only art gauge for her which um which is okay it's okay um this equip it, it auto fills the art gauge by two for 90 seconds only once for her now this is great this is great for her um just to get the art gauge to her for the true arts once you do that as you know you have the clone then you come back with the regular arts you do it you can do you can get off the regular arts i'll say about uh three times um without her true I, I don't know how it is with her true i don't know if you get it more i don't know if you can uh get it just up to three but i got in i got in up to three times but i also had uh other support characters uh using uh support equipments like arcanite magic steel mask and other things like that so giving out art gaze to other units is it's overall great so i would recommend running that too then jill's true weapon you can also run this you don't have to run this on jill she i think it did a lot somebody was running it on an earth model team but without jill and um it actually didn't work that pretty uh that bad so uh overall i just think it's a good equip to a ct of 50 seconds uh which is not that bad and i, I just want to <clears throat> i just want to say one thing i don't want to make a video about this but i kind of do um the ct equip i mean i mean not ct equips excuse me the increased drop rate for these things for uh equipment and units i would like to see the rates the list of rates i mean last claudia does it dragon ball legends they give us the rates i mean last claudia literally you can click probability and it has a list of rates on last claudia like uh i would like to see these probabilities um and see these rates on these units i just want to know where they are you know what i'm saying uh, but other than that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like, sub, and subscribe. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed your day. And am I going to be summoning on this? Yes, I heard you tried to summon on it. And I tried to get Jill's True. Didn't get it. Um, uh, I didn't want to make a video about it. But yeah. Because um, I only did one summon. But it, it is what it is. Uh, but this is actually not a bad banner to summon on. Um, just for to have the equipped it gets off hp to other allies or um then you have argus jill and everything like that so it's actually not a bad banner um there's only three of them that's on the banner um but you know it's not that bad um uh, i would definitely go for it the only thing i don't like is malia's equipped just because the ct is just so high but other than that i like dark zords and i like jills because those are juicy but the Belias, no, I, I, I don't mess with that at all. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later. And uh, I'm out. Keep 100.